Okay, so today's NASA's New Horizons waved hello to Pluto, closing in at 34,000 miles an hour. Here is the best image of the planet that's been released. It was taken from New Horizons about 16 hours before the moment of closest approach. Whilst waiting for the data to come back though, NASA's experts have identified that Pluto has some significantly darker regions near its equator. They've said its diameter is about 1,500 miles across and it has a very thin nitrogen atmosphere, which you obviously can't see from the image because it's clear. They've also worked out that Pluto has some very very bright regions and regions of darkness, which I guess is to be expected with most planets that are pretty far away from the sun. But as New Horizons takes photos as it moves away from Pluto, they'll show the side that's illuminated by one of its moons, Charon. In terms of its surface, they hope the data will show history of any impacts, any surface activity, and maybe any tectonic movements, either from the past or happening now. The experts have said geology and climatology definitely both play a role on Pluto. The new images set to come through in the next few hours will be 10 times the resolution of this one, so they're gonna show a hell of a lot more color data. We also now know that Pluto is very different from its moon, Charon. Charon has an older and more battered surface than Pluto, which looks much younger. The new data is set to reveal whether there are atmospheric processes helping it to stay young. The experts have also said that there are possible tectonics on the planet, but they need a bit more time to work with and look at the data. The new colour data will also give more information on the heart shape that we can see in the latest images of Pluto. Hopefully it will be able to answer how and why it's different on both sides of the heart and not symmetrical.